Coming to this now, the class of 2020 metric results are out and many students will be looking at getting funding to further their studies. But the National Student Financial Aid Scheme will not be supporting first-year students for certain teaching and nursing university qualifications. I'm now joined by Professor Ahmed Bawa, the CEO of University South Africa, to actually respond to this. Prof, good to have you and thank you so much for your time this morning. All right, so I'm looking at some of the uh, qualifications here, which with, uh, you know, NASFIS has mentioned they will not be funding, amongst them being the B.Ed. and the Bachelor of Nursing Science qualifications. I mean, I can imagine for any matriculant right now planning to study these courses and wanting funding is quite disappointing. Your, your reaction to this statement? Uh, good morning to Benno, and thank you for having me again uh, on the program. Um, you know, uh, the National Student Financial, scheme, uh, Financial Aid Scheme has always uh, funded just first degrees or first diplomas. Uh, so in other words, uh, uh, staying away, if you like, from uh, postgraduate qualifications. That uh, particular communication from uh, NISFAS was actually misleading. Uh, so, for example, if you take the B.Ed. that was listed there, mm. uh, they were re really referring to an old qualification, which used to be, uh, which used to be called B.Ed., which was a po postgraduate qualification. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, so uh, I'm, uh, what I'm aware is that the department is meant to be issuing, the Department of Higher Education Training mm -hmm. is meant to be uh, issuing a clarificatory note today or, today or tomorrow. Uh, to uh, to set right the message. Uh, so the, the, the undergraduate four-year B.Ed. qualification will still be uh, funded uh, by, uh, by NISFAS. Right. Uh, students will still be able to receive the bursary. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get clarity here, yeah. Prof, uh, because I think this information is quite important. I can imagine most people uh, might, 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 might yeah. need to have this information. So I'm seeing the statement here which says most of these qualifications have actually been phased out or even readjusted. This is part of the new higher education qualification sub-framework. Is this what you're referring to, to say that some of these that's qualifications exactly, are that's old? Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I'm referring to. And... Uh, uh, you know, they're also sort of indicated that they won't be funding the Bachelor of Technology qualification. Uh, that also has been phased out. So, mm -hmm. so it's not it's no longer a situation that um, that you know that undergraduate qualifications will be uh, you know students will be prevented from obtaining funding. Yeah. All right. So when can we yeah. expect then, so, or uh, have you received information from NASA's when that final list of the funded qualification will be out? Yeah, uh, we haven't yet. Uh, so, uh, and what we were told was that the department uh, was going to issue a clarificatory note. Um, and I think I think students should just expect, uh, accept at least the point that uh, if they are registering for an undergraduate qualification mm. uh, at any of our universities or TBT colleges, uh, and if they qualify for the financial aid uh, 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 um, conditions, if you like, then there should be no problem. Right. Prof, I also want to get clarification on the bridging programs because that's another one um, that I can imagine students have been asking about. W what, what's NASFA saying when it comes to, to bridging pr uh, programs? Yeah. Um, now, again, I think that depends quite heavily on the nature of the qualification. So where you have an extended curriculum program which is properly integrated into the first degree, uh, that is funded by NASFA. Uh, and I think in that case, I think what the students have to do is uh, is uh, submit their applications, of course, but also kind of work very closely with the universities about the nature of those uh, of those uh, extended curriculum programs. That's what they're called, at least, yeah. foundation programs. There were concerns that perhaps, you know, that the defunding of some of these, you know, uh, courses, and though you clarified that some that are part of the, the, the old, uh, you know, framework and curriculum here might be breeding unemployment. Do we have a call for concern uh, for that, that, that you know, the, the non-funding or defunding of these qualifications may actually lead us to further unemployment in this country? Yeah, it's, that's a good question. I mean, because there are some some qualifications which uh, which uh, will fall foul of the new rules. I mean, so for example, the uh, uh, the postgraduate uh, LLB program, the the law program, used to be funded uh, because it was seen to be part of an undergraduate qualification. Uh, that won't be funded anymore. So um, so so that 
will have an impact. Mm. But generally speaking, as long as it's an undergraduate uh, qualification, uh, uh, that will qualify for funding. All right, we'll leave it there. But Prof, thank you so much for your time this morning. Mm -hmm. Professor Ahmed Power.